Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. I'm a Rebel Creative and today we're going through one of my favorite uh, Glowforge catalog designs that I think make a really cool Christmas gift. So Christmas is like right around the corner so I wanted to go through and you know a lot of the videos I make are like really complicated like here's some designs that I made, here's this, here's that and I feel like um, yesterday I just kind of woke up made myself some coffee. I was like working outside and just like, what do I want to make today? Like, what do I want to talk about? And I was just thinking maybe other people are like me and they don't want something uber complicated and they just want to like have a design and make something for someone for Christmas without having to think too hard. And so I found this headphone holder and I wanted to test it so that you don't have to and you could see if it's worth it. It's back here. Um, and I will tell you, this is a very easy, um, thing to make, but I made it a little bit more difficult for myself. So I went ahead and I was like looking on the freaking catalog for things that I wanted to make and I found this. And the cool thing is, is I have, uh, I had some credits on my account from making a referral. I was able to purchase it really easy. You can purchase it for one time or you can purchase it to make a hundred of them. So if you have a lot of gamers in your life or audiophiles in your life that have headphones, this might be a good thing. Now, when I was clicking it, I noticed that you had to have a walnut or maple, you know, you can do it with really any material that that you want, I mean, relatively. Um, but I didn't have any of those, but I do have acrylic. And I put in, you guys, I was like, okay, this is how I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it this cool neon, like pink acrylic. And I put it in, and I think my old faithful 130 speed, full power. Put it in, wait for it, I took it out. Of course, it wasn't cut right. It didn't go all the way. It took like 20 something minutes. And I just didn't want to do a second pass because I'm like, oh, this should work. It should work. 130 is like my go-to, like works every time. <sighs> I think it could be because my laser is dirty. I don't know if that affects things, but I might need to, I really need to clean my glow forge and I am just so nervous about taking things out. And if I do it, I promise you I'll record the entire experience and share it with you. But anyway, I went ahead, took it out. I was like, F, I like got mad. I put it away because I was like, maybe I can, I hate wasting acrylic. I don't like wasting those types of materials. I keep them so I have an idea of what to do with my scrap acrylic. Oh my freaking goodness, this is so annoying. I did this, so I went on to the next one. I said, okay, this color will work. Put it in there. It didn't cut all the way through. <laughs> When I tell you I was so pissed, I was so freaking pissed. I was like, this is supposed to be easy. <laughs> so, so then I go in again for the third time with something and I didn't put it in the right spot and I didn't check the freaking screen. I just threw it in there and I pressed go and it was not working. So like I would be able to get pieces out here and there and I'm like, F, like I've wasted three full sheets. And then finally I said, wait a second, wait a second, what if I take the pieces that work, I organize them, and I see how many I need. So I think I ended up cutting four sheets of acrylic, getting the pieces I have, which I have some extra left, so I think I can make more. And I'm so happy because once I started, I, it took me forever, forever to organize every single little piece that I cut, which thank God, on this design, they have each piece labeled, and I almost freaking took it out, which I, I think that you could if you were looking at the screen and you knew what they were labeled, if you don't want those little things, but I don't even notice them and it made my life so much easier. So I like sat there peeling, peeling, peeling all the pieces together. And because I used acrylic and I didn't use wood, um, with wood I probably would have just done like a wood glue to keep it secure. Cause when you put it together, you, it's it's super easy. There's They give you an instructional guide, you kind of follow the thing, you stick it all together. It's kind of a little wobbly. So if I would have used wood, I would have done the same thing, had a little bitty tiny Tiny, tiny paintbrush because you don't want it to be messy and dip it in the wood glue. Sorry, this is a bad chair to film in. Take a tiny, tiny brush and I just swiped it along every single one of those pieces. Like hopefully I've got a really good angle so you can see me swiping along, but I actually used, um, what I like to use with acrylic is a UV resin. So it's a UV reacting resin. I just painted on there while I was watching TikTok and YouTube and then I just completely use the light to make it all steady and secure, make sure it's not going anywhere because the last thing you want is your, you know, expensive headphones to be like falling over the place. And when I tell you that I'm so pleased with the results, I am so fucking pleased with the results. Like this is so cute because the colors that ended up working, the clear, the blue, and then iridescent, I feel like go together so well. And they could even go like, I don't know, I feel like it could even be cool if you had a light on it, like a little, if it was on a shelf, you could get one of those like little click click lights and, and stick that up there. Um, but 
I think it came out really cute. And it's, you know what? Like I have a gamer in my life that I think might like it. I'm hoping that they do. And I'm gonna make more of these. But let me just tell you, if you are making this design before you use your material up, just make sure you know where your laser's at. I don't know if, if, if elements affect how it works or whatever, or just don't, don't pull it out, you know, when you're, um, don't just pull the whole sheet out because then you can't recut it. Like maybe like touch it and look and see if it's cut that way. And sometimes if it's, if it's not cut all the way, I'll just reduce or I'll increase the speed to like half or, or I'll increase the speed to double what it was. So like if I was cutting at 130, I might do it like a 260 and just randomly do another pass and see, just really make sure that I know that I know it's cut all the way through. Cause once you take it out, you're kind of screwed and then you've wasted material. And that's the last thing we want to do. Um, one cool thing is, is that if you waste the material, now you can buy proof grade material at Michael's, which you can also buy Glowforge at Michael's, but you shouldn't because you should use my code glowforge.com slash Sam can do, and you will save 500, 100, 250 or $500, depending on what model you get. Don't do it. And then you're shipping to your house. You want to carry something and put it in your car, take it home. No, no, no. Just have it shipped to you. I promise you it's going to be worth it. Just use my code instead. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to be making more simple Christmas gifts that are from the thing. And that, so you can see me make the things from the catalog and not have to figure it out yourself. Um, all the links for how to buy it is down below. And yeah, what do you think about this cool, like headphone situation? Would you like it? Do you think the wood would have been cooler? I don't know. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.